Okay, so today we're going to be looking at number nine of the math packet, which talks about uh, questions regarding symmetry, specifically um, having to draw the opposite side of the shape or whatever is on the coordinate plane here. Um, so it says that it shows only half of the designs on the left side of their lines of symmetry. When it says line of symmetry, that means that the right side is going to be exactly the same as what the left side shows. The easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to count how many boxes you need to go to to make your first line. So we know it's going to be a diagonal line going through each square there. And I'm going to count one, two, three squares over. So one, two, three. I'm going to put a little dot there because that tells me where I need to stop. Draw my line. And there's my first line. Notice how it looks exactly the same as that first line over there. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my second line. I know that it's going to be a diagonal line because it needs to be the mirror image of this side. I just need to figure out how many boxes across I need to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. and that's where my second line is going to be. My third line, which is going to go diagonally downward, I have to kind of do the same thing and figure out how many boxes over is that this point right here. And it's one, two, three boxes over. So one, two, three boxes. I'm going to put a point there so I know when to stop. Your lines don't have to be perfectly straight. I don't have a ruler here, but if you have a ruler, you're welcome to use it to try and make your lines just a little bit more straight than I've made mine. So now all we have to do is connect the last two dots, and we have a symmetrical image, which means my left side is exactly the same as my right side. Let's move on to part B. Part B, the shape is a little bit more complicated, but we're gonna use the same idea that we used on part A. I'm gonna count, because I know that my line is going to be one, two, three over. So one, two, three. I'm gonna put a dot there. And I'm gonna start my first line where it meets the left-hand side of the shape. And I'm gonna go up. And then I'm gonna do the same idea with the next point. It's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes over. So one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. I'm gonna put a dot so I know where to stop. Then I'm gonna move down to my um, third line here. It is one, two, three boxes in. So I'm gonna do one, two, three boxes. And I'm going to draw my line. Now all that's left is to connect the dots on the very last one, and we have another symmetrical image. If I took this paper and folded it in half, this drawing that I've just done will completely cover um, this left side and vice versa. The left side would cover the right side as well. Now let's move on to section C. We're gonna do the same idea that we used for both A and B. I'm going to count the boxes, and it's one, two, three boxes over. One, two, three. And I'm going to start my line where it meets the other half of the shape. So I'm going to go up like that. Then my second line is a little bit more tricky. I have to count the boxes. One, two, one, two. But it's not going in the same direction that we're used to that we've done on the other three or the other two shapes that we've done. So just be careful and make sure that you are really focusing on which direction your line is gonna go. And then we are going to count the remainder of the shapes or the remainder of the boxes to see where our next line's gonna go. So one, two, three, four boxes. Two, three, one, two, four boxes over there. And we're gonna draw our line so that um, we are gonna have a mirror image. Now all we have to do is connect the last dot. And we have a um, line of symmetry right down the middle 
which means if I folded this in half, my left side would be the same exact as my right side.